Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Inside the War Room. I hope you feel great. We all feel great. All yep. Right. After a great oh, Christmas. Great Christmas. Healthy. healthy. Awesome, healthy great. Christmas. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I can't taste anything. This guy smokes. <laughs> he right. smokes a lot. <laughs> oh, man. There's going to be a booger coming out of my mouth. My spit, oh, sure <laughs> my spit went down the wrong hole. <laughs> uh, that's Make sure nobody swaps mics here with Joe. Because my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. My goodness, man. I tell you what, we had some games going on. Christmas games. I mean, dating all the way back to Thursday, TJ. We're talking 49ers, Titans. That's that right. was a close, good game week. on Thursday football. Yeah, I, mean, I can't it, believe the Titans uh, won that game. I thought the 49ers were going to kind of run away with it. To yeah, honest, Titans. They, AJ Brown showed up. You want to say anything nah, about that, that's Joe? That's the answer. That's <laughs> what just happened? Huh? What just happened? I'm more prone to cough if I speak. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> we'll just, just, just nod just, if you just agree. Yeah, yeah. Yes or no? So, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll go through it briefly real quick. It was quite a few days ago, but the 49ers started the game off so hot. I was loving how they were looking. I yeah. thought there was a chance at a blowout. And then what happened was A.J. Brown got in that dang game, and he said, Ryan Tannehill, I'm going to make you feel a little bit comfortable because Same I know you yeah. haven't been feeling the most comfortable rock. with me in, yeah. in, in, in your absence. I mean, Whoa. obviously, it was Whoa. a <laughs> <laughs> Now we got puberty. I had puberty. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, even the 49ers players, a lot of them had decent games, too. Debo Samuel still went off. George no, Kittle yeah. didn't do the most. No, he had Kittle two receptions had. for 21 yards. Yeah, that was on the first drive of the game, too, whenever yeah. they looked good. Maybe, yeah. middle little hit, maybe they should have kept going, too, a little bit because that first drive that works out looked great. Well. Yeah. Jimmy G <laughs> threw two interceptions, which kind of, you know, and shot him in the foot in the end. He had a big yeah. fumble, too, didn't he? Um, Wasn't it Jimmy G absolutely cost the 49ers yep. that yeah. game? Yeah, he made it easy for Tennessee. Yeah, he definitely did. And then there were, there was a stat actually. Whenever Jimmy Garoppolo throws an interception, they're like one and six. Whenever he doesn't throw an interception, they were seven and zero. Oh. Wow. He threw an wow. interception on like the second drive of the game or a third drive of the game, but they were lo- winning and looking good. I'm like, oh, this sh- this stat's gonna get shut down. Nope, nope. Did no, not the second sh- one came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't get shut down. So that stat remains, and yeah. it was kind of funny because they were up talking Jimmy Garoppolo on how well that he's been playing and this and that, and then he definitely he laid out a stinker oh. yeah. for the boys. Yeah. Um, well, that's what he normally does, though. He'll look really good, and then he'll just have one of those like off yeah. games, and then it's yeah. like, okay, well, how long is his like off game gonna last? Yeah. He's not gonna like take over a game himself. You know, no. you gotta have the run game behind him, like really help him out. Especially George Kittle not being there, that didn't help him out at all. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like obviously Jimmy G. I think he's a, a good quarterback, but it's kind of weird. I wonder what Belichick saw in him that he wanted him over Tom Brady. He was, he was younger, and he went five and zero whenever Tom Brady didn't start. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if we're just not. Using I mean, him you right. also got to wonder if he would be really good if he was a Belichick. Yeah, because in the back of my head, I feel like he definitely I mean, could he, be. He yeah. went to a Super Bowl. He did. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the Forty ers Yeah. So he, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, that was our Thursday it. game. But then Saturday came. Saturday <laughs> came around, dude. And Santa Claus came. Santa Claus is coming to town. And the Packers lost. And I mean, the, the Packers won. Okay, I was going <laughs> to <say>. lost. <laughs> They should have lost. They should have lost. That came down to the wire. That came down to pretty much a hold on Donovan Peoples-Jones, and there was a no call. Cost the Browns a game. Devontae Adams, a couple drop passes. Uh, not the hottest game. I mean, whoa, whoa, Devontae whoa. Adams did have a good game. but like there He were, had a crazy game. There for were two it. passes that he clearly I would like dropped. to blame the first one on Aaron Rodgers. It could have been. On the could've left sideline. Aaron Rodgers was shaking his head no, and I hope he wasn't dang near shaking it at Devontae Adams because that he was a caught it. tough pass, and there was a defender a safety coming at him. It was like kind of scary. Devontae catches pretty much everything. Okay, You got to well. give him a slack, some slack here and there. Okay. Aaron Nick Rodgers. Chubb. Nick Chubb. Big yeah. game. Obviously, big game job. Baker didn't. I mean, no. Baker actually lost the Browns again because yeah. he threw four interceptions. Four yeah, this game was a two-point game with Baker Mayfield throwing two yeah. interceptions, four yeah. interceptions, four, four. Yeah. Two were on him, in my opinion. But yeah, yeah. But four, four interceptions. Okay. Yeah. I mean, one of them was whenever they clearly, easily, at minimum, should have gotten a field goal. Yeah. He threw it uh, over Jarvis Landry's head on like third down and long. 
Stupid, stupid ideas, stupid decisions on Baker. Aaron Rodgers' toe is getting stomped on, apparently. Oh, oh them tootsies. Poor baby. No, he was out there but Packers to shake defense it off. led up 400 yards. Okay. Yeah, that's that was. Good. And that's after letting that's up with four like picks. a ton. Of, that's yeah, that's but letting up a ton of versus the Ravens the week before too. This was a game that the Browns lost because of the refs. Like, if it weren't for a couple of those calls on that last drive, I feel like they would have scored. Would have yeah, Aaron Rodgers came probably, back and scored yeah. probably. But you could say that. On the other hand, though, they put them in that situation with the turnovers that Baker Mayfield was giving. That's them. that's very true. And the kicker missed one. Um, oh yeah, it was a rookie kicker. What was his name? I forget. Yeah, I don't know. I know. some new guy rookie. like off the street or something. Yeah. yeah. No, he was he came to college. Oh, did he? Yeah, he's a rookie. Well, I mean, they he picked him up off the street. I don't think he had a chance before, but he's Duke probably not. No, 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 no. no. It's like <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, the Packers won that game. They're now twelve and three, still first place. Yeah, and and pretty much what the Packers are trying to do, they win next week. They get a they get a bye week essentially, which could come to bite them, man. Yeah, you got to be careful giving yourself two buys say, back to back. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. obviously with Aaron Rodgers in the foot, I feel like that'd be a fair trade off for him. I don't know if you want to give everybody a break <laughs> in in week eighteen. Doesn't matter. I don't well, yeah, I mean, you say it doesn't matter because you just assume they're going to get eliminated <laughs> and disappoint. <laughs> yeah. Which they're playing right now and they're showing that they can disappoint. But, I mean, that's the go with any team right now. But I'd, they, I'd say it'd be a bad idea if they – maybe they sit their players out for a half in the final week if they win next week. One team that didn't disappoint, though, was the Colts. Oh, they yeah. came out and they beat the Cardinals 22-16. Oh, yeah. I would say, Christmas. yeah, I would say the Cardinals disappointed yeah. more than the Colts looked good. Yes. Matt Prater. Yeah. Yes, they kind of controlled. Um, I can't think Jonathan Taylor for pretty much the majority of the game, which oh, not yeah. a lot of teams have been able to do. Yeah, yeah. now yeah. they definitely He's controlled over 100 rushing yards. Yeah, yeah. Cardinals defense is looking pretty decent. Oh, Buda Baker looked like he was going off that game. Yeah, it's kind of ho- weird to say that Jonathan Taylor was contained, but he still had a uh, over 100 yard rushing game. That's because yeah. that one rush That's was how like good 50 yeah. yards. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, that is also true. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, what I mean, because any other running back, you'd be like, oh, he had a good game. He had 100 yeah. yards, even he's if he had a 50 yard so run. Good. He's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and then, I mean, because we question. I mean, at least I question a little bit that like any running back could run behind their offensive line, but whenever all of them were out because of COVID, and he's still running for over 100 yeah. yards. Carson Wentz with a very nice throw at the end of the game. Oh, yeah. That touchdown. Yeah, yeah. that's some. I feel like Carson Wentz needed a throw like that because he hasn't been playing super hot. Yeah. Uh, like, I wonder if the first half, then third yeah. quarter, he looked like he wasn't doing too hot. And because in fourth quarter, he died. In my eyes, it's Carson Wentz that's holding him back just a little bit. Like, do you think he thinks that at all? Do you think that's running in the back of his head? Not really. Oh, if I'm playing a little bit better look, myself, we could be the best team in the AFC? Not really. He, he's probably I looking at it that way, but he could still prove it in the playoffs. Where I think he might Jonathan be trying Taylor. to prove it in the he's playoffs. Probably Taylor's a good safety net for him. Yeah, he's probably <coughs> still confused yeah. on whether or not he's Prince Harry or not. <laughs> <laughs> but like you mentioned, the Cardinals. I, it's just crazy because at the beginning of the season they were the hottest team in the NFL, and they lost D Hop, and obviously James Conner wasn't playing this game, yeah. which are two huge pieces to their offense. But mm-hmm. it just seems like they're not clicking anymore. They don't no. know what got them, you know, as far yeah. as it got them this season. And crazy they enough, lost it. they have another tough game next yeah. week. Another one. I'm trying that's to the Cowboys. I think yeah, versus the Cowboys. The rest of the season, don't they? Another one. Cowboys. Yeah, they the Seahawks. I think the last week. Oh. Well, divisional game, but that's I don't another see one. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, they're going to be going in versus the hottest defense in the NFL next week, and they the Colts are pretty much in the playoffs. They really have to mess up to. Yeah, they have I mean, to. The mess Chargers up lost, it. which helped out. And they have two easy matchups now going forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Colts came in, did what they had to do. The Patriots and the Cardinals. They yeah. they won some games that are statement games versus good teams. Statement games. That's yeah. what they needed to do and needed to prove, and they done did and they that. Have Darius Leonard. Yep. Yeah. Or the whole offensive line, or freaking, they were out a ton of people. So, very impressive. Up very next impressive. was Logan's team, the Falcons. Logan. 16 20. <laughs> Finally yeah. won a home game. Yeah, first uh, home game win this season. Um, wait, wait, wait. This season, or yeah. like it? Since last November. Wait. Oh, like wow. I thought the stat was yeah, they haven't won a home game in November in like a really uh, long time. No, no, it was since last November. November. So, I said our, our road record is very decent. Last November. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's basically, that since we got the Mercedes Benz down. <laughs> wow. Um, but wow. this is I'm very torn about this whole situation because I mm. I really didn't want to lose to the Lions. Like I really didn't. The Lions are. I mean, they're, they play better. They beat the Cardinals, but they're a bad team, and I really didn't want to lose to a 
what one what what is it two Whoa, twelve was, and two one team and one. Well, two two twelve and one team I believe they're at the two time. twelve and one now. So, so two yeah, eleven and one. I told you twenty one twenty one. That's told awesome. <laughs> but uh, again, at this point, playoffs aren't even in the picture anymore. I mean, we're still in the hunt, but it's not going to happen. Just too much has to happen, and it's just not going to happen. But <laughs> I want a better draft pick, but that game I don't want to lose. I didn't want to lose that game. That's a bad game to lose. Just because it's the Lions. A- exactly. Just because it's the Lions, and just because how bad the Falcons get memed. I just I couldn't look at that stuff. But they, they, had nice <laughs> <laughs> they had a nice fake punt. Yeah, the Lions. Yeah, I mean the Lions are literally just like the homeless man where you like you trot into his. You, you're, you're going down a back alley. And you don't know that's his territory. And he just goes off. He goes nuts. You don't know what weapons that he <laughs> the has. The Lions just don't care. They don't, they don't worry about common sense. They just go. They just act. <laughs> Which but can be dangerous whenever they take it on is. Team. You just don't know what they're going to bring out. They went what? for a fourth down, I think, like eight times that game. <laughs> <laughs> and then they kicked it the one yeah, time the whenever goal. they were like yeah. actually on the goal <laughs> line pretty much. Yeah, that makes so much sense. But I, I, we won. Next week... I'm going to the the game in Buffalo. Sorry about that. I'm very excited for that. God bless. I don't see them winning. A lot has to go wrong for them to win. If they win that game, that would be legendary. But that's the thing. I want them to obviously lose because I want them to have a better draft pick. But that would be awesome to watch them win in Buffalo. That would be so awesome. Yeah. So, like, obviously, I'm never going to root against my team. But it's just, it's this is a whole loss. Are you going to be wearing your Falcon jersey to the game? Yeah, bro. Are you kidding? Are you ready to, like, Take some shots by Bills fans, <laughs> or like, are you in pre- preparation? Bro, they might, they might honest, throw you through a table. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think they're gonna be too worried if I'm wearing a Falcons jersey. We'll see yeah. after the game if they win. Maybe they'll be mad, but they're gonna be like, I don't think they're too worried about this game. Hey, you suck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next game, Rams and Ram. Vikings. Actually, ended up being a pretty entertaining game, thirty to yeah. twenty-three. Stafford sucked. Matt Stafford. Yeah, Matt yeah. Stafford started the game incredibly they still got 30 slow. Points, though. But yeah, because you know, they had a punt return touchdown. Oh, they have three interceptions like oh, yeah. pretty early off the start of the game. I don't oh, think yeah. he had another one after that though. Oh. OBJ. Um, yeah, OBJ. Cooper got Cup. Another uh, there was a stat. It said he has now either fourteen or fifteen consecutive games with over ninety plus receiving yards, and that's like a record. Yeah, that's impressive. Which is that's crazy. That's like stupid impressive. No, that's oh, yeah. dummy um, impressive. Yeah. There were a lot of records kind of broke this this week. Yeah. Justin Jefferson beat OBJ's record for fastest to, what is it, touchdowns so or, or was it probably receptions. yards. Receptions. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because Justin Jefferson also had yeah. another game over 100 yards. Yeah, 2,755 yeah. most reception yards in the yeah. first two seasons of NFL yeah. history. That's pretty impressive. It was pretty cool, though. They both wore, like, each other's. Yeah, I've seen that. They before had the game. It yeah, was pretty. Shirts. It was pretty nice, actually. Was and then OBJ did like Justin Jefferson's dance whenever Aww. he scored. Yeah, it was kind of cool. It was. They kissed after the game too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <they definitely laughs> no, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's probably against COVID <laughs> protocol. Um, but yeah, I mean, end of the day, the Rams actually did find a way to win it, putting the Vikings now in a really awkward situation. <laughs> yeah, like, three interceptions. Yeah, yeah they're. I mean, which uh, it was already g- tough enough with the schedule that they have compared to, I mean, say the Eagles or the Saints. I believe they had the hardest schedule out of those teams that are trying to fight for an NFC spot. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, this win right here was pretty big for him, even though it was a tough, a tough battle. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough pill to swallow. Cause they're on the outside for sure, looking in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah they the Rams are first place in their division now. Oh yeah, Rams looking. The Rams got a locked up. See that coming. Almost then we then we up. had a, a battle with the rookies, Jags and Jets. Oh Trevor my gosh, dude! Zach I loved watching this game. I was gonna say, you yeah. loved watching this. I game. I didn't watch this game. Oh. It was <laughs> a close. It was game close. Too. It we was did tune crazy. into it a little Zach bit. Zach Wilson with a fifty-one yard rush. I think. Fifty-two. 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 It's the longest by QB in the uh, the Jets history. Wow, yeah. he has a hot mom. And here's the thing too: it came oh, yeah. down to the why the Jets could have lost that game. Trevor Lawrence, who said he had a hot mom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the Jags had a chance to score at the end there and yeah. just didn't do it. I don't know. The, the way that they did that, they spiked the ball instead of just taking an opportunity yeah, at the end like zone. 25 seconds yeah. left and they just spiked it. Stupid. it was fourth yeah, they should have just tried to take two opportunities at the end zone. And that would have been way smarter, but I guess that's why you're the Jags. So. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Just Trevor Lawrence should have grown a pair, dude. He big ran it in the end zone if he would have been a little bit more aggressive. Said oh. he just ran to the sideline. Big yeah. injury out of that game was uh, Oshawk Hennessy. Oshawk Hennessy. Oshawk Hennessy went down. Hennessy. Oh, my goodness. Oshawk Hennessy. Do you know the details of that? Oshawk Hennessy. 
I mean, then again, that's like if you're Trevor saying. Lawrence, Joe, are you really gonna like risk your health and your body on a season that's like been hopeless for the past on four the, months? Yeah. Take your frustrations out on somebody. I mean, I on the, so. yeah, and then he like breaks his collarbone and he doesn't have to play anymore. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get paid. That's you the know Joe Burrow method that worked last I year for him. <laughs> Trying to get that second contract. Jeez. Eagles Giants up next. One even close. Yeah. Not even surprised. Dude, I thought we were watching WWE the way they were smacking down on him, dog. That was crazy. Yeah, uh, man, I seen Jalen Hurts uh, just this morning. How he break down one he of his like incomplete him. throws this morning. Nah, uh, he he like broke down one. Some uh, somebody asked him what, what happened? happened like during an incomplete throw. The way that he broke the play down it actually impressed me so much. Like his knowledge that he has about defensive coverages huh. and where everybody's supposed to be on the field and how his progressions are supposed to be. So you think he's legit? Then he actually knows what he's like. Doing. I, only because I have my questions about Jalen Hurts. Yeah. Like seeing stuff like that. Yeah, I like man. That helps. That helps me kind of <laughs> lean towards this guy I mean, actually has yeah. a really good chance to be. That's a skill that obviously. A good QB. You look at the best quarterbacks to ever do it, such as Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. That's right. what they know how to do. They know how to break down a yeah. defense. So yeah, if you know how to yeah. do that and just visually look at them and see what they're gonna do. Right. That's there's a whole new edge. There's footage of like Tom Brady when he was mic'd up and like as he's handing the ball off to Leonard Fournette, he's like cover two. He's like calling out their defense yeah. as he hands it off yeah. to them. Oh, for real. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, especially if you grasp onto that stuff as a quarterback at like a yeah. young age like that, you're you're definitely gonna see some success. Okay. I, I would imagine definitely. so. I mean, like he's not perfect by any means. No, no one but, is. I mean, uh, being a dual threat guy, I mean, he's one of the. I mean, he's had best a, at it right now. Yeah, like, being able to run and throw. They're eight and seven for the most part. He had a good season. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's hard to like really hate on him too much. Yeah. Kind of proved me wrong. I thought the Eagles were going to be a lost cause this year, but I mean no, they're right in. I mean they're they looking like they're going to be the team that sneaks in that final wild card spot. Yeah, Could I be. think they will. I mean, really, it's going to come down to the game tonight. It's, that's really going to because yeah, if the Saints sure. lose, then it's looking incredibly that's good the for the Eagles. Yeah. That's huge. I don't know though. They are. D- he is a dual threat quarterback. And uh, speaking of dual threats, where are your hoodie strings? Where are my hoodie? Oh wow! Ouch! That hurts. Well, see, uh, whenever you throw your hoodies in the wash, sometimes and like the string just completely falls out. In the wash, with the, it wasn't your fault at all, and then it's like a second set of eyes. Yeah, they're just staring at everybody right now. Neck? This actually hurts because I didn't even remember it's that that wasn't. Eyes. Yeah, wow. sorry guys. One thing that hurt was the Bills and Patriots. I mean, it didn't hurt, but it hurt the Patriots probably because the Bills <laughs> <laughs> the Bills are in first place now. It did hurt the Patriots pretty bad. Uh, oh, the Bills man, yeah. now <laughs> still in playoffs. Talk. I mean, playoff talks obviously, but thirty three twenty one. It was a close game. Kind of. <laughs> nah, yeah, really. If the Bills <laughs> wouldn't drop so many passes, it probably would have been a blowout. There were so many dropped interceptions by the defense, it was unreal yes. this game. Amanda that Sanders dropped one in the end zone. Yep. The tight end dropped one in the end zone. Yep. There was another game where Mac Jones threw multiple interceptions, so that's starting to turn around a little bit. Because he's playing good teams. Yeah. I, like I said. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's definitely fair. He definitely <laughs> seems a lot more human than he, he did. He didn't have that wind on his side. Mother Nature said, screw you, Mac Jones. Not screw this you, Mac Jones. Still not think the Bills need to figure out their run game, though, because Josh Allen threw 30 for 47, 314 yards, and he was their leading he rusher in, again. He led in rushes yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. It's Sort of working for him, but he's gonna dude, be there. That's they, how they have it set up. They play one team in the playoffs that figures that out, they're done. If they yeah. can stop him scrambling and they can stop yeah. him throwing, then yeah, yeah. there's nothing. Right. I mean, yeah, he actually had more rushing yards than Moss and Singletary combined. Yeah. I mean, he's averaging more yards a carry than both of these guys. It's probably yeah. easier for him to break off a big run because he could take it like what's supposed to be a pass and, and yeah. run himself, which would help with that a little bit, but. I oh mean, man, I they're gonna play somebody in the playoffs that has a good secondary, and they're gonna find yeah, out quickly that oh, that's is, we're in trouble. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. that's oh what's yeah. gonna happen. Yep. That's definitely what's gonna happen. I mean, and then I mean, the Bills are probably gonna drop their running back in the first round, or maybe not the. Uh, I don't know. You don't know. Uh, nah, I don't it's know. It's tough to tell because running backs really don't get drafted super often in the first round. There's no, nobody. I don't think. I say probably a receiver. In the first round. Yeah, 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 maybe like they do need a receiver. I mean, they have Stephon Diggs, but he doesn't have a solid number two. You don't think like. Beasley probably, and Emmanuel Sanders. I mean, Emmanuel Sanders is probably going to retire like pretty soon. Cole Beasley, he he's consistent with his catches, year. but he does, he doesn't make good any number impact. three, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they need a quarterback. He needs some help for Stephon Diggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they need a quarterback. He said. It's kind of crazy how we think of them as like a like a strictly passing team, but they nobody's are. like confident in their number two wide receiver behind Stephon that's Diggs. True. Yeah, that's probably that probably should well, be a red flag right there. Loser Dawson Knox. He's pretty good. He's all right. 
He's yeah, he's, he's been, been, but uh, yeah, he's inconsistent he's really like tight any tight other. Probably like, some off tight end. Yeah, I feel like, like, like if you have a good quarterback, is. that makes the receive those not so good receivers so much better. Because if he can hit them in open coverage, all they got to do is catch it. You know, yep. they don't even yep. got to run much. <coughs> Fair enough. I mean, hey, I mean, if the Bills can find a way to get hot, the win versus the Patriots is huge. Oh, you yeah. know, whenever you got that Bills Mafia in the playoffs, you got a home field game somehow. I don't That's know. Crazy. I mean, they w- they should have a home field game as long as they beat yeah. out the Patriots. The amount of look out that other team that they're going up against. The amount of tables broken before that game. <laughs> oh man, so I think many. T- table company's got to be super. Happy. Oh, the the That's tables. Static. I would as not want to be offer whatever. like insurance on the tables. Dang, yeah, I wouldn't want to be a Walmart table. That'd be bad. bad. That'd be yeah. bad. Table and shorts. so bad. You don't want to do that. That's progressive. You should start doing that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, table yeah. and oh, shorts. Oh, progressive. Hear yeah. me out. Or what's the one Gronk okay. always advertised for? Yeah, USA. That's a. USA. <laughs> 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 what does it have to do with anything? Trust me. It's military. You unless that's a military table, it won't be covered. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, they put a U.S. Army sticker on <laughs> yeah. the first. <laughs> Ravens, <laughs> Bengals, 21-41. Bengals, smack. Yeah, they uh, exposed the Ravens for what they're worth. So I don't know exactly what happened, but apparently the Ra- or the I'm sorry, the Ravens defensive coordinator said something about Joe Burrow, saying I guess like something about a gold jacket. Yeah, yeah, I've like seen how that. he's not as good. Yeah, he needs to still prove himself. Or yeah, whatever. he's talking about like Hall of Fame uh, stuff. Like, dog, this I don't is his second year. What the yeah. Freak? Like, yeah. Oh, is that what that whole interview afterwards was yeah. about? Yeah, yeah, but apparently... Christmas hat. Yeah, yeah, so I guess uh, Joe Burrow basically hey, Burrow said... Burrow handled it well, though. It kind of... Yeah, he was kind of laughing it off. Yeah, Even made he said, like, it's my game. second year. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, I feel like that's just a petty thing for it the is, Ravens losing. Because the Ravens, again, they got blown out the first matchup. They got blown out again. Yeah. Their, their defensive they can wow. be coordinator couldn't do anything. So, Bank was a beat the Steelers twice and the Ravens twice. Oh, yeah. Which... Wow. That... I don't understand. I don't know if people understand how impressive that's that very actually impressive. is. Yeah, no, that's very I mean, impressive. First off, these are the two teams that have been dominating the North for probably the past. I don't know. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, of course, probably close to twenty years. I know yep. the Bengals have had their fair share of like every once in a while getting in, but I mean, the amount of times that either the Ravens or the Steelers have finished on top yeah. over <laughs> the past twenty years is probably yeah. like eighty or ninety percent oh, of the yeah. time. Well, you even think about it too, which obviously. Have they played the Browns twice yet or no? They only played them once. They played them Yeah. yeah. Uh, they I lost to them. Because even... Yeah, I know they lost to them. But I was going to say, even the Browns have been pushed ahead of the Bengals the past couple seasons. Everyone been yeah, talking about the how the Browns season. potentially yeah, could be the yeah. best team in the division. Yeah. So everybody's just kind of throwing the Bengals under the rug. And like you said, they swept two out of the three divisional yeah. teams that they... And you know, the every division. game was by an astronomical <laughs> amount of yeah. points. This is one of the most impressive things I've ever yeah. seen the Bengals do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I well, mean... I heard someone talking on the radio about it, and they basically said that, you know, everybody was so concerned about the Bengals' offensive line that we completely overlooked how stacked their offense is, and it's truly stacked. With yeah. their receiving core Higby. and with, you know, Mixon, like Joe Burrow, again, yeah. he seems like he's a really good quarterback. Like 500 yards. Exactly. Their offense 525 is good. 525 yards. 500. That's insane. That was what? Ty- it was like tied... And it was in the top ten for most yards thrown in the game. Yeah, I mean, I'd imagine it probably would be. That's I, like I think it was number nine right? or something. But That's crazy. Last year, remember, I was hating on Joe Burrow a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, oh. You yeah. noticed I haven't been hating on him much this year. No, <laughs> in the beginning much. of the season, I was little. Dude, I kind of have respect for him now. That's like yeah. He has been doing impressive stuff. You start stuff. the whole dude, offense that's why on I your like fantasy them. team, yeah. you would have won. Yeah, that's why five like receivers get 100 yeah, yards, dude. T. Higgins yeah. went crazy. Yeah, Chase had, had 125. Had yeah, uh, yeah, Tyler Boyd had a big touchdown. Oh, yeah. 85. Start their whole freaking team. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're winning. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. My goodness. Yeah, that's. I mean, the Bengals are really impressive. I'm. I'm actually. Yeah. That's one of the teams I'm excited to watch Me in too. the playoffs. Because that's what I said. You don't want to see them, dude. I'm telling you. Their offense gets clicking like that. I hope they go far. I really do. Yeah, we'll see. I really do. But uh, next we have... Oh, my gosh. This Chargers. next one. This next one. <laughs> just do we want to talk about the curse back? Yeah, so remember the curse <laughs> video where everyone that's beaten the Chiefs have lost to a bad team. Chargers beat the Chiefs. Look what happened. They lose to the Texans. When we did our picks, I completely forgot about that theory. Yeah. Would I still have picked them? No. <laughs> but <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Has it yeah. been... Every single team? Yep, every team. <laughs> Literally every team. Hey, they've been Steelers, on. Steelers <laughs> don't have to worry about that. Though. Don't yeah, worry. the Steelers already stink. <laughs> uh, so, uh, um, whatever. Dang, did the char- I want this. No, the Chargers dang. defense was actually atrocious. atrocious. Yeah. Atrocious. So oh, my gosh. What are the Chargers? Like, what do we think of them? See they're a the disappointment. They're disappointment. Like, it's, it's, an, it's insane. For me, they're the most disappointing team in the league. 
I mean, like, fear. how does this make sense? It does. Justin Jackson led their team in receptions with eight catches. <laughs> he had two touchdowns too, right? And he had two touchdowns on the ground, which I mean, like, good for him and all that. But where the heck is Keenan Allen at? It was yes. like the first time he'd scored in like what Williams four years or something. This game that he was out with COVID, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah I, th- I don't think he played. Dude, Keenan Allen finished like six in the receiving yards. <laughs> I just who are these people? Josh Palmer, no idea. Jason Moore, no idea who you are. Palmer is kind of their third guy, but you don't. I mean, yeah, I, I, I like. I'm honestly. I can't believe it. I worked through two it. picks. They're they're either. literally been they've been given so <laughs> many opportunities, and they you were just, trying to put money on the Chargers to come back, but yeah. they wouldn't let you. Luckily, they, they wouldn't hey. let you. Hey, <laughs> uh-huh. but it did seem like it for a little bit. What they were down by? What seven points at one time? Or yeah, they, they were down back? by like fourteen or uh, was it fourteen? Something like that. They were down by two scores, and they're driving downfield. I'm like, okay, there's still enough time. There's about six Damn. minutes left. Where. Score a touchdown here. They might have got a two-point conversion, maybe. And I thought there was going to be definitely room for a comeback. But as soon as the Texans got the ball back, they put up 24 points in the fourth quarter. <laughs> yeah. Rex Dude. Burkhead at 31 years old is rushing for 149 yards with two That's touchdowns. Rex Burkhead <laughs> should never do that. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 24 uh, points. so old, dude. Like they 14 plus 24. Oh, uh, 38. Eight, 38 points scored in the fourth quarter. 38 points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Between the two teams. Dog. Oh, that's, that's a okay. crazy, like, yeah. that's like a final score to an actual game. Exactly. Yeah. That's like nuts. 24-14 would be an that's actual score. You. Chargers yeah. fans, we're sorry. They build you this nice new stadium just for you to lose in it. <laughs> like, well, they don't have they any don't fans, have fans, though. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I, I was going to say, plus, like, the Chargers fans, I feel like, are used to getting disappointment, disappointed yeah, anyways. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, with, with Justin Herbert, they got hope, though. And then it's like, yeah. you build up this hope. And yeah, then I, know, I feel like it was the same thing with Phillip Rivers, though, yeah. from everything that I remember. It always yeah, ends in a disappointment every time. I mean, no, even whenever he was in his prime. <laughs> no, but he was just born old. Just he has that Yeah, base. I guess so. He had a hot start to the season, though. Beat the Chiefs in the beginning of the season, too, which is huge for them. Damn. Yeah, I don't I know. Mean, Back to disappointment land for the Chargers. Oh, uh, and then we have the Bucks and the Panthers. Dude, both of my teams this week got blown out by almost 30 points. Would you say their backs got blown out? Yes. Yikes. Uh, they got ripped a new one. I don't know. They, 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 they Cam Newton started off, and then they brought Sam Darnold in, and then <laughs> they both sucked. <laughs> Did I it don't matter? Think no. Shocker. I don't, think a, I don't think a quarterback has started a whole game for the Panthers they in the past, it. like, six weeks. I d- probably not, honestly. Cam so Newton was their leading... R- Cam Newton was their leading rusher, and Trouble then Hubbard. Sam Darnold was their second leading rusher. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Trouble happened Hunter had Trouble. nine yards. That's yeah. good. Yeah, he did be very bad. Six carries for yeah. nine yards. Yeah, very six bad. Nine. Oh, six, nine. That's kind of cool. What does that mean? I don't know. It's a rapper, I'm pretty sure. Oh. He's um, a rat. Stupid. Antonio Brown bag, baby. Ten catches. I see he had ten yards. catches for like a hundred. Wow, ten catches for a hundred one yards. What about Beyond Ten point one. Wow. He, I don't think he, he got actually, to play. He actually ran twice oh, for negative one yard. Not good for you, you <laughs> idiot. I really hate <laughs> love that much, do we? I mean, I don't like him being on the same team. Keshawn Vaughn was their leading rusher. Keshawn Vaughn. Oh well, yeah, he had like a fifty. Keshawn Vaughn yard touchdown. Keyshawn Vaughn. Or something. It's okay. Yeah, that game sucked. Uh, absolute dominating. Panthers <coughs> got a new kicker. I think <coughs> he kicked both of their points. That's honestly. Beautiful. Yeah, that so what do you want here. them to do next? Do you just want them to clear the bench of all of their quarterbacks and just find somebody else? I want them to figure it out. Speaking <laughs> of clearing their benches, how about Washington football team at Dallas Cowboys? <laughs> dude, they got, yeah, they got dominated, dude. Oh uh, my. You want to talk about right, tearing a new one? I mean, no, we can. We can. Like, dude. Holy Listen, crap. They'll never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> ever. I remember when it was like 56 or something. I was like, damn, they want 56 to whatever. I'm like, holy crap, there's still nine minutes left in the game. Oh, dog. They were up by like so many points, and it was like the third quarter with nine minutes left. I'm like, I think it was 45 to seven or something. Super like Rush that. came in, you know? <laughs> imagine having a backup uh, come in because you're winning so greatly. Oh, man. <laughs> there was yeah, 42 that. points Delicious. scored in the first two quarters by the uh, bro, Cowboys. And Zeke only had 37 insane. yards. They, uh, bro, because Washington should have seen this coming, bringing their stupid benches <laughs> to yeah. the stadium. That's 100% what it was. Yes. And Dallas got super mad, and they weren't going to let up. Why would no. they let up? If you're going to do something that stupid yeah. and that petty in a, in a game, 
That I mean, I mean, their they season's don't. over. But I mean, <laughs> that was. Let up. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. No. If I if I'm Jerry Jones or the, one of the head coaches, I'm coming out with everything that I have. Yeah. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna embarrass them, dude. I'm gonna make them carry their dang benches so, out I, the I freaking much game. I think one of their players is gonna win Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah, I mean, right now, a lot of people are saying Micah Parsons. A lot of people are saying Micah right now, actually. See, man, I'll, I'll be shocked. I think he deserves it. But, Ooh. man, if they let a, a rookie win something? it, that's going to be crazy. Diggs Has a rookie ever won game. it? Yeah. Do he we said, know? I doubt it, but I don't know. Say that again. Has a rookie <coughs> defensive player ever won or offensive player? Maybe Lawrence Taylor. Maybe, maybe Lawrence Taylor, I think. Maybe. They. I think Trevon Diggs came into the game and he said, like, I'm going to put my stamp on it and I'm going to – like yeah. lock in for defensive player of the year, and then he had that interception. Yeah. So like, so you look at how many yards he's given up, though. That might be the only thing that like people will look at. But so does Dallas have the best defense then, or yes, right now, yeah. Like, well, I yeah, don't know. no, they. Yeah. I mean, they like definitely do have the best defense right now. I mean, and I don't really even think it's particularly close. Uh, Chiefs might be kind of <laughs> up there. I mean, I guess so, uh, yeah. I know they I had, a, dom- know they had a dominant a, win, but... I take the Steelers game with a grain of salt. No, I'm not Chiefs, looking, I'm not looking at that up, game. Uh, Chiefs should the be past up how there. many games? Yeah, I mean, Chiefs would be up there. Definitely. Weird I mean, game. You know, I mean, it would, yeah. So, the Cowboys came in and stomped Washington. And like actually... This, this week was just the blowouts is pretty much the story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Washington football team, they're like literally fighting with each other on the sidelines and whatnot. Deron Payne and somebody else on the defensive line was like actually like scrapping and whatnot. That's nice. <laughs> really? That's yeah, nice. they changed the... Uh, I see he was mic'd up that they game. They changed the their <laughs> team name to We Fight Teammates, WFT. <laughs> 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 That's still better than their current teammates. <laughs> <laughs> <So> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. Help. Users. <laughs> um, next we had Bears and Seahawks, both five and ten teams now. What Seahawks suck, dude. Oh. Seahawks suck. <laughs> Big eggplant Nick came in, <laughs> had that game oh. winning drive. I hate eggplants. Got the two point conversion oh. to win no. it. Dog, we were talking about biggest bus players this year, and it's got to like Russ Wilson has got to be one of them. Well, yeah, I mean he was hurt. Dude, his offensive line's atrocious. Uh, they're going to play there next year. They're the biggest so bust team for me this year. Like, <laughs> yeah, for them to come in last, I mean, but their division is tough. No, oh, not just no, last, yeah, bro. They don't even. Ten. They're getting doubled up yes. with the amount of losses they have than wins. Five and ten. Five oh, yeah. and ten. Hey, they beat the 49ers. Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they suck. No, yeah. they actually stink. They David suck. Montgomery had a really good game, from what I remember. I mean, it was. No. It's kinda, 21 carries for 45 yards, dog. He averaged 2.1 yards per uh, carry. Wow. That's not good. It's not too good. But he did have seven catches for 61 yards. Okay, so he had over 100 <laughs> scrimmage yards. So there we go. And he had a touchdown. And so he had a touchdown. Right. Yeah, so he actually did have Rashard a pretty good Penny game. Rashard Penny had a good game. 17 carries, 135 yards, a touchdown. Uh, DK Metcalf had two catches. Wow. One of them was and the first touchdown. touchdown of the game. Yeah. And then he disappeared Man, do you again. Think he's happier now. He shouldn't be happy right now. How could yeah. you be happy? You know? You stink, and your team stinks. Does he yeah. smell bad? Probably. But he's shredded. Bro. You got to stink to get shredded, you know what I'm saying? All that sweat. Oh, my yeah, goodness, I dude. I so, yeah. Imagine this smelling in the crevices of his abs. I would. I wouldn't. You I would. do it. It is cut off. <laughs> 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 Chicago scored 11 points in the fourth quarter, though. How does that happen? Well, they came, they came back. Two-point conversion. Yeah. Wow. They they had to come back. Oh, in the yeah, that's right. They come that's, back. They that's right. They won for the two-point Actually, conversion. they won by a crazy catch on a two-point conversion. Like, super impressive. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. nice. It was a really good game. And, and then, I mean, the touchdown catch was nothing to mess around with either. Jimmy Graham, dude. He always comes up and will always have that, like, game winning touchdown. He did it last year, one game. Yeah. He's a beast in the red zone. I think yeah. this was the first uh, snow game of the year, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, because there was snow everywhere, but I think yeah. it was the first one of the season. Yeah, the I thought there was another one. That, no, was Green one Bay, the there snow. was, like, a blizzard, but it cleared out, and there was, like, no snow on it. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was, yeah. T- I definitely didn't expect it to come from Seattle. First snow yeah. game. I mean, it was a snow game, but it wasn't like a crazy amount no. of snow. Uh, but it was still. It, before, they were showing it before the game. They had tractors out there scooping. Yeah. It, it stopped. It, it, it passed. So, yeah. like, they, it obviously kind of. Okay. Seahawks suck. They faded stay. away. That's all, that's all we know. Um, all right. Nice. Now we have the Broncos at Raiders simultaneously going on with this other game. Why did we think Drew Locke could win a game? Yeah, you know what? We, we messed up. I okay. Don't know. Frank actually yeah. picked the Raiders, which was pretty smart. We all, I think we all picked the Broncos, yeah. which is pretty stupid. Yeah, Drew Lock yeah. because Drew Lock stinks. 
Okay, he came in last week and then he threw for one touchdown in his first drive, and I'm like, you know what? How bad can he possibly? He's bad, be? baby. Oh, <laughs> bad. He's not too good. Let me tell you that much. Yeah, 15 for 22, 153 yards, zero touchdowns. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, at least you didn't throw an interception. Raiders didn't look good either. They had turnovers, but... That's what I thought. I don't know, because I didn't think the Raiders were going to... I mean, neither of these teams are Well, what the Raiders did incredibly good this game was shut down the Broncos' run game. Like, both of their running backs, I swear to you, averaged like a yard carry. Melvin Gordon had six attempts for zero yards, I think, at one point. Yeah, and I mean, I'm pretty sure he probably ended up with about that many yards. And Javante Williams couldn't get anything going in the run game either, so whenever... To your running backs, who they have relied on for most of the season, like quite a bit at least. I mean, they're a fairly balanced team, but whenever they can't do anything, now you're putting Drew Locke. Uh, there's so much pressure on them, and, you know, so like Drew Locke's we, Drew Locke. How are we feeling about Raiders in playoffs? They're not making it. They're not I making counted it. them out five, like two weeks ago. They yeah, could. I, they have a chance. They're eight and seven. They do have a chance. Let's see where they're at. This I don't like see a, it. This was like a big win for them. Then again, the teams that are out kind of stink. I mean, with the Chargers losing, that gives them a chance. Right now, the Ravens are in the seventh seat right now. And Crazy. they're eight and seven as well. Crazy. So Crazy. I mean, it, You can't, <coughs> yeah. Dolphins, Dolphins are getting the seventh seed. The okay. Raiders are, are seven and seven. I hope so. Oh, I know. They have to win tonight. They play tonight. 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 Yeah, they have to win tonight. They're getting the seventh seed. You really think? I, I hope. Fan, I th- I, I, I'm with you on that one. I think the Raiders still they have a chance so after winning and then the Chargers losing. Yeah. Do you think the Chargers are out? They screwed themselves? I'm not saying they're out. Uh, I'm not saying they're out. I don't either. know. Who do they play though? Because I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be the I think the Chargers are gonna make it. They play the Broncos next. I mean the Ravens play the Steelers. And then the Raiders. <laughs> Probably not gonna yeah, win. They have two divisional that, games. I mean. Wow. That's uh, honestly that Ravens Steelers game could be a playoff spot for the Ravens. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so we should give it everything we got and just what stomp the them out of there. So that's how yeah. it could potentially be for the Saints too. At the end of the season, we play the like the oh, yeah. Falcons. So <laughs> that's another game like, where I'm like, yes. oh, I wanted to lose yeah. for a good draft pick, but I hate the Saints. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the Chargers and Raiders play in week the final week of the season? Oh yeah, well, that's interesting. Yeah, that's they play the Broncos incredibly next. Incredibly interesting. Hmm. That's very interesting. It could come down to that game. That Legit. game right there actually might. I decide a playoff spot between those two teams. I honestly think the last week of football before playoffs will be the best last week of football that we've ever seen. I think there will be so it's many games that it comes be. down to. Yeah, because like not too many game. people are going to be sitting there players, I think. Everybody's going to be playing for something. Which yeah, because I hate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah so and I mean, then there's like a lot of matchups where because it's so tight, there's so many teams that still like technically have a chance to yeah. get in. I think it's going to be the, one of the greatest weeks of football we ever see. Oh, yeah, bloodbath. Has potential. Definitely for I mean, sure. Yeah, Broncos pretty much ended their chances of making the playoffs with that loss. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean Raiders, I haven't given them much respect, but definitely deserve to be talked nah, about they a little bit. Great. They have all right. yeah, they they great, great. But I mean they are where they are right now. I don't think they're great, but I mean they're they have a chance. Should we rip the band aid off? I rip guess. it. Rip it. All right. Steelers, Steelers, Steelers. Steelers ten thirty six. <coughs> yeah. The Steelers did so good. Mason Rudolph came in at the end. Oh yeah, dude, they did great. And <laughs> oh, actually, so Chad Chiefs. Henney came in yeah. in like the third quarter because oh, yeah. because uh, Mahomes just wasn't doing enough. No, he was anymore. Doing pretty bad. I mean, Tyreek Hill only had like two catches that game actually oh, yeah, from twenty nine yards Hill. or something. I mean, Clyde edwards helaire had like twenty seven rushing yards. Yeah, like he, he broke didn't his collarbone or something. Didn't do anything was, really. I guess it came back negative. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah no, so okay, so the Steelers got stomped on, which I expected. I fully expected that to happen. Yeah. What happened, I expected to happen. Yeah, everything that happened w- was expected. Uh, you could tell Tomlin's frustrated with how long that he keeps the starters in at the way in yep. to make sure they get that touchdown because it, he that, because he did that again. Well, he did that whenever he played the Bengals. Yeah. Yep. Sure too. Like, he is frustrated. He has no answers. The team is... The team is honestly they're a bunch of posers and they're they're a, they're act, they're honestly a bad team. They really are a bad yep. team. There's nobody with a worse offensive line in the whole league. And yep. the defensive line really shouldn't be that bad, been but they are. They 91 to what was it 9? Yep. Oh, it's worse in the first than half. That. It's worse. Worse. Now it's worse. Now it's worse. The Steelers have literally the stat was on the screen. 91 to 9 outscored in the and first there, half. There's 9 or Chris Boswell. Good for you, buddy. Best no player on the team this year. in the first Next half. TJ Watt. How many weeks? Was that the past month probably or so? They suck. They I never seen an offense so terrible. bad, actually. They're terrible. We haven't scored a touchdown in the first half. Like, you look at the Lions, month. dude. The Lions always at least, like, competed. Right. Some we, games, as a Steelers you know? fan, we watched the game, 
and the game is over within the first quarter of the game. It's yeah, not fun watching. anymore. Yeah, At least give us an entertaining game to watch where it's like, ah, oh, shoot, who's going to win this? It's over already, like, instantly. Yep. Like, yep. so often this season. It's ter- yep. it's so hard to watch. It's so One hard to watch. positive takeaway, I will <laughs> say, looking towards the future, is Najee had 19 carries for 93 yards. He averaged 4.9 yards. Per carry, That's he did so that impressive. with no offensive line. That's, That's what so I'm impressive. saying. He's so good because he he's been doing that. People push that aside. That yeah, he's getting all these yards and stuff, but then they, his offensive line is atrocious. I think we get a bet. I think like in the next two three years, he could be like really really good if we get the team straight. He is really good. I just don't yeah. know how the they're going to get the, the offensive shelf, line. The shelf life of a yeah. running back is so short. And his is about to be yeah. even less because I know he's getting cracked. Yeah, he, he he, I felt so like he was frustrated that game and he was just taking it out on the other team. Yeah, and it worked. Well, yeah. I mean, just end of the day. Deontay Johnson, you're an embarrassment that game. You caught a ball. I seen it. And you just dropped it. You fumbled it. Yep. Nobody was even on you, dude. What the heck was that? And he yeah. dropped. There was another <coughs> one. He was wide open. He just dropped it. He like, didn't catch it. If I'm Ben, I'm just walking down the stadium. Well. Yeah, uh, I still like Deontay Johnson. No, I do too, but he was our can't leading do receiver. that. You can't do he was that, though. leading receiver with all that. I mean, yeah, he always is our leading receiver because he's, like, by far and away the best yeah, receiver. Wh- we, on went, the team. we went, what, three times in a row to Claypool when he caught all of them? The Kelly pool, I think, is good. Evan and Ben don't have the greatest camp history, but yeah, there's a lot of contested catches. Yeah, that was... Yeah, yeah, you know how the, 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 the win rate on those with how many times Ben goes <coughs> deep in the season is pretty low. Because they he they do it all the time. You know what happens whenever it's third down and two? Yeah, they no. do a streak to Trace Claypool. It's like third and three, and we pass it before the first <laughs> down marker and get destroyed. Oh, do you goodness. think Juju coming back next year will be He's not better? Coming He's back to the Steelers. Back, he said he oh. wants to, I but I don't think they're right. I he, thought he, he did already. No, he wants to come back. He said, I'd love to come back for four more years, but they're not going to They're not gonna pay him. He hasn't even been that impressive. I actually opinion. don't know who is going to pay him at this point, to be honest. Eh, somebody will take him. I can see not a ton, to Not a ton of money. I mean, maybe nah, to Baltimore, sure. Will. Somebody will. Well, he already didn't get a ton of money this past year, and now he just got hurt, like a really bad yeah. injury. Like, what makes anybody think he's going to get paid? If not, he's got a future in social not going to get top receiver money, no, but somebody will get him. I don't see him getting paid that much. I don't know. But, hey, uh, yeah, Chiefs are f- for real. Chiefs are for real. Oh, yeah. We knew the Chiefs are for real. Yeah. And the Steelers are a bunch of phonies, and you've seen it there on the field. Disgusting. Uh, talked about Washington already. All right, so that was the last game. Now we got the tonight. Dolphins at Saints tonight, yeah. 8-15. No, I'm pretty excited for this game. I, I actually don't think it's going to be that close because the Saints quarterback situation is just not existent right now. What if they had Taysom Hill? And I would be really excited to watch this game. Yeah, I still I think it's going to be closer than we think because they're both playing for their playoff contentions. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, like I mean, this is a big deal to both of these teams. Right, this is best case scenario for a Monday Night Football yeah, game. Absolutely, Monday two teams on the outside looking in, both in the wins whoever loses their season's probably over yep yeah and uh, yeah it's a shame that Taysom Hill's not going to be in yeah. but hey you never know the Dolphins are so hot right now their defense is great but how great are they where they can just continue to win 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 I Go. thought this win, was going to be the week win, that they win. would lose actually but again with the quarterback situation I don't see the Dolphins Dog, this Drew game. Brees is coming back yeah. <laughs> might they, I, apparent, it's rumor that they did ask him to come out of retirement. No, they, they did. did. They asked they did, him yeah. and Philip Rivers to come out as emergency quarterback. And Drew Brees sent them a, them a selfie of him <laughs> golfing. I didn't see that. No. I believe it there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, they're they're very desperate. That just shows how desperate that they are. That yeah. is desperate. I mean, which is weird though. Might as well ask Terry Brown, Bradshaw at that point. Maybe Philip Rivers just doesn't want to do it in an emergency quarterback situation because Philip Rivers came out earlier in the season and said that. Hey Saints, call me. Like I'll I'll do it, but yeah. nothing oh. ever happened with that. I don't know. Maybe just seeing the team just doesn't believe in them right now. They could have called maybe. Brett Favre, and then him and Aaron Rodgers could square off again. Wow, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. but he would need to go back to the Packers to Who? beat his record. Oh, I thought you were talking about beating the record. No, I just Brett Favre face each other. Brett Favre takes him to the playoffs, and then they face <laughs> each other or something. <laughs> that'd, be fun. that'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, let us know what you think. Football is almost over in the regular season. Crazy. Unreal. Wow. It's been flying by. Yeah. Let us know who you guys have in this game, Dolphins or Saints. I figure a lot of you guys are probably going to be leaning Dolphins. I'm going to stick Saints because I kind of messed up with my picks earlier. Yeah. I don't feel the worst about it, but I don't feel great about it at the same time. I hope. I just hope it's a close game, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, TJ, s- just to let you know, it's going to come down to either me or you getting slapped, I believe. Depending why? On what happens? Why? This game. Who do you have? 
Well, I have the Saints. And I have the Dolphins. And you have the Dolphins. So if the Dolphins win, you get slapped. Uh, if the Dolphins win, then we have to pick our score oh, as a tiebreaker. But if the Saints win, I automatically beat you. But what you if... You better be flipping hard, bro. But what if all <laughs> our fr- fans from England don't want me to get slapped? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want you to. England, what's up? Croissant. <laughs> all right, kids. Have a fantastic <laughs> that's, day. That's French. That's French. Yeah. We will see you all tomorrow. We're all feeling great, by the way. <laughs>